to my channel or if you are new here hi hello welcome my name's Casey and on this channel we do all things thrift charity shop bargain hunting hauls and a little bit spooky so today is actually something different I have a craft haul so it's not too different it's still a haul but it's something a bit crafty um if you watch my previous video you'll know all about this one because I just recorded it literally about five minutes ago because I'm trying to get our videos done um but yes I'm practicing a bit of art therapy uh, again if you watch my previous video I opened up about my mental health and um, when I was 19 years old I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and at the minute I'm going through a really bad depression um it's been quite bad you would not you would not think that yesterday all I did was cry and feel really really bad but today I've lightened up I'm feeling I don't know I'm still feeling crap but I've pulled myself together a little bit and I thought I'm going to record this and show everyone what I'm going through so disclaimer I am not clinically diagnosed no, I am clinically diagnosed. I'm not clinically... What's the word I'm looking for again? I'm waiting! Hmm. I'm just playing with my tights. Professional. To be telling people what to do with their mental health. But this is just what I'm hoping will help me a little bit. Um, so when I was diagnosed when I was 19, I had cognitive behavioural therapy um i was put on medication and they don't really put people with um bpd on medication but because i quite i suffer quite bad when i do go into um depression it is better to kind of co a coping mechanism um I've spoken to my gp today i said i don't want any i'm gonna try and see how i get on um but i am in contact with the relevant professionals to help me but I always found CBT therapy really did help and I still put into practice what I learned then. I do have a book um, on CBT self-help, which is a nice read actually. Um, if anyone's interested what that book will be, I can link it in the description box below. But without further ado, I will show you everything I got. So here's my little receipt. So I'll keep that handy because I have no idea Idea how much everything is I cannot remember but I do remember I bought this for Jack um, so this is obviously not anything to do with art therapy but um, if you watch some of my previous videos you know that we're gonna go pumpkin picking when the farm is open for pumpkins next month and I already have a pumpkin carving kit Jack needs his own because I don't want to share I want to be engrossed in my own pumpkin with my own pumpkin kit he can have his own but I actually prefer this one so I might give him the one I use because this one's actually sparkly I don't know if you can notice the little sparkles in there yeah this one's sparkly so I want this one <laughs> but this was a pound which I think is a bargain and um, you can pick up um, other carving sets on like the pound shop and things obviously for a pound um but actually that's obvi not obvious because a pound shop do actually sell things for more than a pound so yeah for a pound from the pound shop but now we have everything so my carrier bag was five pence so that's not relevant maybe it is relevant so ready to mix paint set four pounds fifty so yes um i just got some cheap stuff just to kind of you know get into it a little bit um so this is four pounds fifty for all these colors these are the relevant colors i need so i thought actually amazing they're all in the same pack together for really cheap love that because i was expecting to have to buy like individual because i was like i need a black i need a white i need an orange and then i also get a cream a brown and a gray just to throw in there how amazing <laughs> so yeah this is actually a really good bargain um i was quite happy with that um and then what's up next uh, the mini potion bottles for two pounds so i'm gonna just follow my receipt otherwise i'm just gonna get so confused um 
I don't know if you've noticed in my previous video I have told people I am dyslexic so I'm trying to read all these words and I'm like what is going on please help um because of my university degree um I do sociology so it's a lot of words but luckily university is so good um if anyone is at university that's watching and you think you may have dyslexia or dyspraxia or struggling um contact university because they are so helpful and they have a lot of things in place so i have color the color overlays on my laptop i have extra time in exams so it's really helpful but again i digress <laughs> my potion bottles are two pounds so these are great um we've got boo happy halloween happy halloween with a cat that wants a spider and trick or treat with a witch hat um so i have a few like dangly like um baby hands and um stones and you know now i've got potion bottles to hang down a few people have asked me to do a house tour which i think is so sweet um so yeah that's really nice i don't know why i find like i find it so sweet and that you're interested um i have um got a plan together to do a house tour at some point this week so i will get it up um i just find it really nice that people are interested in my home uh, my subscriber Anne, she has mentioned a few times that she's seen orbs and movement behind me. Um, say hi Anne, <laughs> um, if you're watching. I wouldn't, let me know if you see anything again because I don't notice until after then you mention and then I'm like oh my gosh yeah. Um, so yeah my house is haunted if anyone believes in ghosts and spirits etc etc. Um, there is a spirit here, I name him Richard. Um, he's been a lot more active since my, um, my episode, um, which I feel he's just been a bit of a companion and a protector. So he has been more active and I think that's why, um, if you do see orbs or anything behind me or any movement, um, it's probably Richard, but he's really sweet. We live in harmony together. I really like his company. So next up is the medium sun catcher. Now this is obviously for children, <laughs> obviously. And uh, so I think we got like the little. It's like a stain, stained glass. It's yeah, sun catcher. But Jack saw it and he was like, "Please get it. I really want you to do it." <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just stain him. I'm gonna say paint him, stain him. I don't know. I was gonna say that but yeah Jack saw it and he was like please get it please do it I really want you to do it and he was like you know you want to do it and I was like all right then I'll do it so that comes with white black purple green and orange so we'll see what he ends up looking like I'll pop it on my Instagram um I'll link that in the description down below if you're not already following me over there I'm trying to be more active I've never been someone that's um, active on any sort of social media, Facebook, Instagram. I'm just not very active. And then when I lost my job um, due to COVID and then Jack was like, well, you should try to do an Instagram, an Instagram channel. You should try to do a uh, YouTube channel and do like, your hauls and stuff because I really enjoy watching them. Um, and he was like, you should do it. And so since I've been active here, I've been more active on Instagram, still not active on Facebook whatsoever. I love a good meme, love a good meme. I will share a good meme occasionally, or I'll like save them and then on Messenger, if I'm not with Jack, I'm like, look what I've just seen, how funny is this? So yeah, memes, love memes. Um, and I really love Dead Vines as well. If you like Dead Vines, comment down below your best one, because I love them. Um, so next is a kid's paintbrush, paintbrush set. Oh, did I say how much this guy was? He was two pounds. Uh, the kid's paintbrush, paintbrush, I can't say it. Paintbrush set. That is really difficult. <laughs> it's three pounds fifty. So I'll explain why I needed this sort of set. I just, again, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I just thought I'm going to do it as like a little hobby just to get me to do something. Um... I don't really want to spend a lot of money, um, but I've just got a kid's set with the kids and everything else. I've got children, so I am a child, it's fine. If you want to comment down below and call me a child, it's fine. I don't, don't mind. Um, yes, oh. 
I'm okay. <laughs> the voice is going. <clears throat> All right, cool. So I got this and I'll explain why. Because next up is the ceramic skull. This is the Esther Resistance. This little guy. Oh, I've got a little thing from Jen. Win a hundred pounds. I'll give it a go. So got this guy. <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? So, oh, oh, it's got some silica gel in there. So the plan for this guy is for my bonsai tree. Well, Jack's bonsai tree, not my bonsai tree. Jack ordered. I think he ordered some stuff off Wish and got some Wish cash back and I believe that's what happened. Hmm. Um, I can't really see him any other reason why he'd order a bonsai seeds other than he got Wish cash back. But I'm going to go with that. So yes, Jack has bonsai tree seeds. He was shocked yesterday because <laughs> he thought he'd like um, plant a little tree in some soil and then like a couple of weeks he'll have a little bonsai tree and he said to me yesterday he was like okay see it's got 15 years <laughs> and I was like what do you mean 15 years and he was like look and he showed me all the pictures of like the growth of the bonsai tree and he was like 15 years and it's only about the size and I'm like it's okay don't worry we will have the bonsai tree for 15 years so I'm gonna paint him I'm gonna get some soil we're gonna plant the bonsai trees and then in However long we will have a little bonsai tree. Um, but back on to why I need the sponges. I'm going to do some sort of dry dabbing on him. So I'm going to paint him black with a sponge. Um, with the black. And then I might use the orange or the cream. Or maybe both. To kind of dry blot him with a sponge. And give him some sort of texture. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do with him. Um whether my creative juices do that while I'm in the flow we don't know but I think that's what I'm going to do with him um again still nameless um comment down below if you'd like to name him I really loved uh, everyone's ideas for names um I believe it's Anne that named my flowers after the Hocus Pocus sisters so yeah, they're, they're there on the TV stand living their best life. Um, but that's everything that I got from Hobbycraft. Um, so all well, that will be on my Instagram. Um, or comment down below if you'd like me to actually do a video of while I do all the crafts. I'm happy to do that. Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll just pop them over on my Instagram. Um, I have had the bath bombs update and my Lush haul um, one of, I had the Lord of Misrule the other day, felt amazing that is over on my Instagram if anyone wants to see what it looks like when it's in the bath uh, it's great, it's all green and magenta and like crackles like a cauldron loved it, had a great time, had a great bath I had a pamper and it felt great but apart from that, yes, that is everything that I got from Habbycraft um, please give this um, video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it uh, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to name my little ceramic skull or if you're going to do any pumpkin carving or anything this year I'd love to know um, I will link again I'll link the book in the description box um, but if anyone is feeling a little down a little crap you know send me a message I'm happy to talk to anybody I really enjoy everyone's interactions on my videos so everyone comments I always reply because I love it when everyone replies and like everyone comments. It's nice to interact with people. And yeah, I really appreciate everyone who subscribed. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe if you would like. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate everyone. Everyone in the community is really, really nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna go, but thank you again. And everyone take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Bye.